Microsoft Power Toys, an official application made by Microsoft that allows you to tweak and unlock extra functionality of your PC. But it turns out there are a lot of tweaks. So with that, here's your complete guide to the Power Toys application. Some of the best tweaks that you should enable and a quick highlight of their functionalities, all updated for 2024 on Windows 11. So with that, let's begin. Number one, file previews. So most of the tweaks regarding the file explorer that most people would use are generally enabled. But for some odd reason, PDF previews are one of the tweaks that are not. So be sure to enable the thumbnail icon generation tweak for PDF. So they go from looking like this in File Explorer to like this. Same thing goes for SVG graphics if this is not enabled for you for some reason. Number two, image resizer. Though this one is enabled by default, there are some options that you should change, mainly in the sense that the default resolutions and formats might not work the best for you. So whenever you right click on a file, you'll get the image resize option. If you click on that, you'll get another dialog box pop up, allowing you to choose a few different options, but most importantly, a couple of file resolutions to choose from. To change these, go into the settings of this tweak where you can amend the resolution sizes that are presented to you or add your own. So if there's some common resolutions that you work with, you can change this to suit your needs as well as amend the format that is produced by the image resizer tool as well. So if you prefer PNG instead of JPEG for example, you can specify that in here. And the final thing you might want to change is the file naming convention that this tool follows when you resize the image, just so you know. Number three, workspaces. All right, so at the time of recording this video, this one is quite a new addition to the Power Toys tweaks available, I believe, and that's the workspaces feature. This tweak essentially allows you to lay out your apps exactly as you want them arranged and then allows you to save the layout exactly as you set it. Yep, you can get really meticulous with this. The layout will then be stored in the Power Toys tweak and when you want to get back at this exact arrangement of apps, you simply hit a single keyboard shortcut and all your apps will be launched and placed on the screen exactly as you'd arrange them. Not only this, but you can have multiple different layouts and can even edit them after the fact in the Power Toys settings. If this is not power user territory, I really don't know what is. Number four, peeking into files. So you might be aware that Power Toys brings functionality to quickly preview files by pressing the control and spacebar shortcut. Now this is certainly better than not having the peak ability at all and brings a similar level of functionality to Windows that macOS has had for many years with the preview tool. But I personally don't like it. Instead, you should probably consider downloading the preview application from the Microsoft Store, which allows you to get the same preview functionality, but instead by just pressing the spacebar alone. It might sound like a minor thing, but it's so much better than pressing multiple buttons to achieve the same functionality. Not to mention with this, you've truly stolen the macOS feature and added it to Windows. Again, link in the cards above to a video I did on adding macOS features to Windows through various free apps if you're interested. While this is not quite a Power Toys tweak, it is one that will help you to improve the experience of an already existing Power Toys feature. Number five, text extraction. Now, text extraction is something that iOS and Android have had for ages, but Windows, not so much. Though there is a tweak available in Power Toys allowing you to gain similar functionality. To use this feature though, activate the snipping tool by pressing the Windows, Shift and S key or simply press the print screen button. Once you open up the snipping tool, take a screenshot of the region you want to extract text from and once you take a screenshot, you'll get the editor open up or click the preview that appears in the bottom corner if not. Here, you'll notice the text extraction button where you can simply give it a click and Windows will then analyze the image and allow you to use your cursor on the analyze text to select the text as you require. Or you can simply choose to copy all the text or redact the text with some further drop downs. You get the idea. Super handy and a feature in Power Toys that can be easily missed, especially when at the time of this recording, Power Toys states that it's recommended to use the snipping tool instead of the Power Toys extraction tool. This essentially means that most likely the Power Toys tweak will soon be added into Windows officially in the near future. Okay, so halfway into this video, here's a bonus tip for you to feast on, and that's the Power Toys search feature. Well, it's actually called Power Toys Run. There are quite a few customization options available to you in the settings of this tweak, but on a very basic level, by simply pressing the Alt and Space keyboard shortcut, you can evoke a macOS style spotlight search. Personally, I think the Flow Launcher app with the Everything plugin also works pretty well. Link in the cards for a video on Windows apps about that by the way. But if you want something that isn't a third party solution, then this is a great option, especially considering the direct integration with Windows and the extensive customization options available to you as well, such as being able to change the text size, the monitor which the search bar appears on if you have multiple monitors, as well as settings for how the results are displayed. But if you already knew that tweak, then what you might not know is that if you press the window, shift and forward slash button, you'll get a dialog pop up showing you all the shortcuts are possible when you hold the Windows key and some other key. This is regardless of which app you're on, so if you just need a quick refresher or you don't use these all too often, then this might just uncover a hidden gem for you. Alright, back to the main tips now. Number 6, Power Rename. Following on from this, we have the Power Rename feature, which is particularly useful for, as you can guess, for renaming a bunch of files with a specific file convention. So for example, if we have a bunch of images here from my iPhone and I don't want my pictures to be serialized like some criminals, then I can use this feature to change just that. This can be done by simply right clicking and selecting the Power Rename feature. After this, a 
dialog box will open up. It might look a little bit complex, but it's super simple to use. The top right box allows you to search for a particular term that might be in your file names. And then the box below that will allow you to replace what you've searched with another specific set of characters. As you can imagine, you have a whole load of controls and syntax options that you can get familiar with. But the key part is the renamed column, allowing you to see a preview of what your files will be renamed to on the right once you press that apply button seen below. Number seven, video conferencing and muting controls. Another cool feature is the ability to mute your microphone and turn off your video feed with a simple press of a quick shortcut key. Well, Power Toys allows you to do just that by scrolling right at the bottom of the tweaks list and going to the video conferencing and muting controls and then enabling this option. Though, make sure you go to the general tab beforehand and press start as administrator and only then will you be able to enable it. As you can see by enabling this tweak, you'll be able to see various keyboard shortcuts listed below, allowing you to mute your camera, microphone, both, or even push to talk. Again, this is a global shortcut, so will apply whether you're using them in your browser, through a desktop app like Teams, or even within a game, for example. Though, I think it's worth mentioning that there is a dialog box that appears in Power Toys stating that this will move to legacy mode, so I'm not sure if this tweak might be removed in the distant future, but for now, it's available anyway. Number 8, Keep Awake. Now, I previously covered the caffeine application as part of a Windows apps video, which I'd highly recommend checking out in the cards above, but it turns out that the Power Toys application gives you similar functionality with the Keep Awake tweak. This tweak is particularly useful if you have a laptop and you're using your screen as a reference document or watching a movie for example and don't want to have to keep touching your keyboard or trackpad in order to keep the screen on. As you can see, by simply using the handy little menu in the system tray, you can specify it to stay awake indefinitely, which I personally wouldn't recommend unless you want to burn your screen in an interval of 30 minutes, 1 hour or 2 hours. When enabled, this will basically just override the normal sleep settings for your device and will stick to the schedule of this tweak. Number 9. Fancy Zones Talking of managing windows, consider checking out the Fancy Zones tweak and having a play with some of the settings in there. Essentially, while dragging a window, if you press the shift key, you'll get a custom window layout appear for you to snap your first window into a section to start the layout process. This way, if there's a particular layout of application windows that you use quite often, you can set that up in the Fancy Zone settings of Power Toys. Compared to the traditional windows management systems that you find at the top of your screen, or those that you find in the maximize button, this feature will allow you to create your own layout that is available at the press of the shift key and can be much more complex than the default ones typically available in Windows 2. Not to mention, there's also quite a few options in here, such as those for external monitors, as well as being able to change between different save layouts on the fly with some keyboard shortcuts. Number 10, always on top. And the final tweak is the always on top feature, which will allow you to place a window or multiple windows of your choosing in the foreground and make sure that window stays in the foreground, even if you interact with other windows that are behind them. This applies to any application and can be activated using the Windows Control and T shortcut. Though, I should mention that some applications, like OneNote for example, have an always on top feature built into the application itself. So if you found that tip useful, then be sure to check out this video here, which is your ultimate tips and tricks guide for OneNote. And if you're still sticking around, then why not check out this cool video here? Anyway, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.